we're very serious about developing our youth here in Kuwait. I think today uh, the youth demographic uh, makes, about, uh, makes up about 61% of the Kuwaiti population. For, for, so for all intents and purposes, I like to call the Kuwaiti youth uh, our majority stakeholders. Uh, our majority clients, um, they uh, today are uh, in charge of formulating the future plan for Kuwait. And this is important to note that when His uh, Highness Sheikh uh, Sabah Al Ahmed uh, Al Sabah, the Emir of Kuwait, uh, put together um, the, uh, I guess, the legislation to move this ministry forward, uh, he is very serious about giving the power to the youth to be able to draw uh, their uh, future strategy, uh, their future life goals and plans, um, and um, in parallel to that, to work alongside uh, worldwide organizations to make sure that we leave a global presence as well as, inter uh, as a local presence when we talk about further sustainable development uh, of, of the Kuwaiti demographic. We are and have always been a welfare state. Now, um, I beg to differ that one, when one is a welfare state, that means inevitably that um, it relies on the state for all its needs. Uh, I feel that the needs are available if one needs them, but unfortunately, we have to be also quite honest to say that the, the, um, uh, the resources or, sorry, the infrastructure available to us today uh, isn't up to par, isn't up to standard. Uh, there, it's 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 quite um, sad actually to see that um, there has been a huge gap um, in what the state has been able to provide since the beginning of its uh, manifestation in you know in the early uh, 40s or 50s and until today we see um, that the services are there but they're quite low quality um, they're they're not uh, something that a lot of people would like to utilize uh, but unfortunately you know uh, one also has to think that uh, with also the pros comes a lot of cons uh, and this is uh, this is to be expected that said also um, the fact that uh, the the fact that these resources or these services are available to us today makes the youth at least uh, I can speak on behalf of the youth um, to say, okay, you know, we are going to start offering parallel services um, in our own way, in our own language. Uh, we're going to start competing with what the state has to offer, and we're going to do it um, according to the highest standards available. And so now, today, we're seeing um, the youth uh, forming a very uh, dynamic, very um, uh, dominating uh, role in in the economy and in, in the society um, at large and this is this is a good thing I think this is just the beginning of many great things to come as as the Ministry of State what we're doing I can tell you what we're doing uh, we are very adamant about um, first of all when it comes to the third sector creating a third sector when we talk about entrepreneurship, for instance. Uh, Kuwaitis have always uh, been uh, very savvy when it comes to business. Uh, we have a, a very, very um, old tradition of business. Uh, we, take ve we, we take great pride in that. Uh, we're today we're seeing the younger generation take over what their fathers have, have, have started to build. Uh, in some cases, and in many cases, I should say, a lot of new um, entrepreneurs are coming up on their own. Uh, and in addition to that, uh, they are finding ways to support themselves through their own communities. This in addition to the fact that the creative sector is also uh, prospering very beautifully. We're seeing a lot of young men and women undertake huge uh, projects on their own as far as it, whether it be on, a, on an individual level or through their companies. And they are being able to find support inside Kuwait and outside of Kuwait uh, to uh, see their you know, projects come to total fruition. Uh, as a ministry, what we've seen and what we're, what we're trying to do to assist them uh, in their uh, ventures forward is uh, we've uh, put together several programs